everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha Pi Omega and Iran. So, I pre-recorded the last couple of episodes, I think five, um, and set them up to be published while I was out of the country. Now, it was amazing to see you guys interact with these videos and comment on things and give me suggestions that I actually carried over in the next or the one after that episode uh, because it showed that, you know, my strategy is actually uh, going in the same way as you guys would in many cases go yourself. Now, some of these comments, though, uh, were interesting and pertaining to something that uh, we're going to start doing today or that's going to come in the future. And I would like to address those comments publicly here so you guys uh, hear about them and actually know my thoughts on them. Don't worry, I'm still going to go through all of the comments and reply to you, or at least I will try because lately I have been sort of failing at that. But I've read all of them as they were coming up, but again, it's kind of hard to reply on my phone. So, let's go. First of all, Dark Knight 42416 uh, asked, or, you know, hinted on uh, me talking about uh, whether or not we are going to um, abide by the non-proliferation treaty or circumvent it. And to that, I would like to say, what do you think? Are we going to give up our national security in favor of promises of countries that came and bent us over the table a number of times? I didn't think so either. We're going to go our own way. User CT5JM4VC4K mentioned that he would uh, focus more on infantry technology. And I've actually done that in a way. Uh, we have all of the guns up to 2005, which is the Fatech. Uh, if you remember, we are actually already rearmed a uh, vast majority of our troops with these newest weapons, which is kind of interesting. But uh, we're doing a really good job at that. The other technology that we... Oh, sorry, it's not technology. The other technology that we would need is the command and control equipment here. Which, okay, fair point, uh, we should research and start producing. But other than that, everything else here gives us a passive bonus, which we are going to get sooner or later. But for now, uh, the production is a bit more important. Also, our armor and uh, APCs and IFs were in a literal stone age as far as the game is concerned. So getting them up to date was a bit more important. Now we're going to focus on the vehicles, uh, the Seper, Aras, and then a Dio MRAP. And then we're going to start uh, improving the infantry again. But yeah, he is correct. Infantry is going to be the core of our forces for the time being, at least. Uh, he also suggested that we have better relations with China and Russia, which I plan to actually do. Uh, if you notice, we're already trading with China and in some cases uh, we were trading with Russia, but now it's uh, mostly China, which goes well with the real world, while well, China is the biggest uh, trade partner of Iran. Uh, XX Beast Mode Shave? 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 It's SH3IV. Not sure how to pronounce that. Was one of many of you, but he was the first one who actually um, I seen commenting that uh, we should get the design companies for our aircraft and ship companies, and actually even for helicopters when I think about it. The reason why we didn't do that is the fact that we don't have the political power. We're heavily influencing our neighbors and actually making sure that uh, they fall within our influence, and god damn, we've been doing a good job at that. We got Iraq, uh, we got Kurdistan, we got Syria, and we got Hezbollah, and currently we're working on Azerbaijan, where our influence is already rivaling the one of Russia. Not unlike the real world when I think about it. <laughs> anyway, um, his and the other comments that I actually got uh, made me think that we are going to uh, do this. We are going to do a couple of focuses that I'm going to show you right now if I remember uh, what they were. The first one was the fourth development plan, which will give us 100 political power. Then we're going to do the AIO, which is an aircraft um, 
Army Air Defense Force is required and the AIO is Aerospace Industries Organization that's going to give us the rest of the political power that we need to get the aircraft company. So we're going to get that. And then we're going to go with uh, the... It's called Vezarati Amuzesh. And I forgot where that one was. Because Vizarati and Muzesh was a really interesting focus. Hold on. Uh, political power. Where are you? I think it was under the uh, the fourth. Wait, what was it? Damn, I'm confused. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, here it is. Yeah, here it is. It gives us 150 political power. Vezerati Amuzesh Vaparvaresh, which is a Minister of Education of Iran. And I'm going to use that focus to get the naval sh or ship company. We're going to get the helicopter and submarine companies uh, later on. But I'm going to make sure that uh, we get them sooner than later. Because you guys keep talking about this. And I understand that the research boost is actually... Pretty nice, the 15% is making a bit of a difference. But again, you know, the political power is something where we struggle because the full, uh, the influencing of the nations around us is taking a lot from us. Uh, King came 15227. I actually explained one thing that was not, um, not much clear to me. We cannot get the post revolution recovery plan, to be quite honest, even though it's. Uh, requirements seem to be done it doesn't allow us to get it because this one is purely for the people that go through the year of blood so if we went the first with the third development plan we have to go through with the fourth development plan and i would like to thank him for that because not only i was confused about this number of people mentioned this in the comments that they do not exactly understand what's going on and that this might be a bug but no this actually makes sense it is in direct correlation with what you take here and even as you know um, the actual tree goes it makes sense but yeah you know it's not really clear here maybe it would be clear from the description the ocean has left our nation with many problems internally we need to assess our situation and deal with internal policies accordingly so that the revolution may survive and our people prosper well yeah it's not exactly clear but i see it now uh, next, Sandra van der, van der Fekens, <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice name that I completely butchered when pronouncing, informed me that there is a really nice button over here. When you're assigning agents to a mission, you can tell them to resume the mission that they were doing and that will put them where they were before the mission started which is amazing and thank you very much for that i had no idea that this button was there but it makes absolute sense that it's there and then uh the overall comments a uh, number of you suggested that we should get rid of one or another um a negative um thing that we have here like the brain drain or the corruption in the government, the self-depreciation, and we will, you know, if we have the option, but all of those are connected to some of the focuses that we have ahead of us. So once we get those, uh, we will remove it. Um, also, many of you made a point of telling me that, yes, the manipulated politics actually worked in Kurdistan, and I just missed it, so I understand that. Thank you for that. Um, I'm happy that it did work, and... Actually, it doesn't matter now, but for the future reference, it is good to know that. And last but not least, many of you keep suggesting that we do, in fact, increase taxes and get the, um, what's it called? Free emergency treatment. I would like to, but we will need at least 408 political power for that. Uh, 300 to increase the taxes and 108 to choose the free emergency treatment. So, yeah. It's gonna take some time. We also need to. Oh, that was a mistake. We also need to increase our income slightly more so that we can get it. Because when you look at the cost, uh, even the free emergency treatment would cost us 1.9 billion more. If we want with basic universal health care, it's 3 billion more. And even if we increase the population tax rate by 5%. It's gonna give us what 1.8 billion so we could then get the free emergency treatment 
and have a bit of a surplus, but we couldn't reach the basic universal healthcare without actually losing money. Cool. With that said, we wasted only 10 minutes and we can now continue. But I really, really enjoy you guys commenting and giving me your opinions. It's amazing and that's what makes it fun for me. I keep saying that, but it is true. Okay, so now, research what available. We finished, uh, I think, the research of the Sapphire Jeep. So now let's get the Seper. And I think the description is the same. So Saper, apart from the Sapphire Jeep, is going to give us Cold War truck chassis. It increases the defense quite significantly. Uh, breakthrough is increased. Heart attack is increased. Speed is increased slightly. Reliability is increased. That's what I'm most interested in. Fuel usage though and production cost also goes up. But it's fine. And we can get our next national focus which we will, which is the fourth development plan. We're doing it to get better opinion of the bazaar and a more political power. In contrast to the third development plan, this is the first four year plan we have planned out. And with 53 major objectives covering everything from cultural, scientific and technological affairs to social, political, defense and security topics, and also foreign, political and diplomatic relations, as well as major economic imperatives, we once again need to focus on a specific aspect of this ambitious plan. Well, the first uh, development plan took us only 10 years to implement and we're not even done yet, so it's kind of fun. And we got, ah, that's the, yeah, that's the hangam class, but we're already producing the Sapphire Jeep. We need 10,214 of those upgraded. Yeah, we definitely need more factories in here, but I don't think we, no, we do have a lot of rubber. Okay, that's cool. So, that's it, I think I can unpause this. We get this again. We keep getting it every single time we play the game. And are we really missing this much steel? We are. How is that possible? Did someone cancel a deal with us? Uh, or is that the... It's the ships. Lack of, this is a fairly high lack of resources. So let's import 8 from China and 8 from Russia. Or 8 steel from China, 8 steel from Russia. And be happy. A subject may raise its autonomy. Uh, we don't want that. How can we do this? I think we had that very unpopular thing which was something like... Yeah, reduce autonomy of Kurdistan. Uh, well, that kind of sucks. 50 is needed. Hmm. When will they be able to do this? They need... Dang. We would need a lot to demote them. Oh, and we're actually bleeding out. How is that possible? Concur crisis, what are we? Also influence the daily cost. Wait, we are influencing Azerbaijan. Are we still influencing you guys? Okay, so that will save us a bit. And are we also influencing? No, we shouldn't. That should be enough. Yep, that is enough. So Azerbaijan has been, well, we could have held for one more month, couldn't have we, but okay, never mind. But okay, that was a bit painful. And we'll need to reduce their their influence dramatically. You will give us a hundred political po Oh, what did we finish? Uh, commence. I'm ready. 
Uh, wait, what? We don't have the civilian infiltration? What the hell? Looks like a mistake. Uh, okay, now let's not commence you when ready. Okay, we need to influence them first, and then we'll prepare the next one. The Corvette is coming soon, which is pretty good. And the fourth development plan is coming next. Fortunately, I have a feeling that we will need to uh, get the this one before we do anything else. Yeah. The fourth development plan. In order to correct, improve and reform the administrative system in the dimensions of the organization, we will use this plan. But which part should we focus more on? Last time we decided to focus on industry. Well, I think that we should do that again. Research would be cool, but let's focus on industry. I have a feeling that that's more important for us than anything else. And while we're at it, uh, let's get the AIO. AIO. Okay. The Aerospace Industries Organization, AIO, is a subordinate of the Iranian Defense Ministry and a leading high tech complex headquarter in Tehran. It is a key player in development and production of space assets of Iran and has some research centers and factories under its control. Notably, Shahab ballistic missiles are one of the products manufactured by this organization. So this gives us political power 50, gain base war support 2% and domestic independence changed by 5%. Hmm, well, that is interesting. That is interesting. Well, let's research it and get it done. That's another 50 political power. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but it's going to take 30 days. In 30 days, we're going to get, let's go at 25, so 150. No, we're still short. Hey, we finished the military factory. You guys know where it's going? That's right. It's going to utility vehicles. And since you're missing, okay, 1.9% uh, missing steel is actually something I can deal with. Okay, you're all drilling, which is pretty cool. We have a naval doctrine available. Our naval will be the man in the high seas. The dominate one, the Dominant one that is untouchable across any oceans in any theater. So Morocco is um, on a Western outlook way. So positioning plus five percent, surface visibility minus ten percent, and oh, that's actually okay. All of our visibility is lowered. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, who wants to be seen? And we lowered our interest rates slightly. So in progress, you're actually... Okay, you're infiltrating. That is nice. That is nice. So what is the domestic independence of Kurdistan? Turkey attacks our influence in Azerbaijan. Really? Turkey, what the hell? What the hell, man? You have no... Alright. Well, I mean, you're also trying to get us there, but... Increase resource production. Does Turkey have a national focus? I'm not... Sure, they have a EU focus, okay. Okay, they do have a focus. No, they don't. Okay, they do not. It's a, it's the generic one. It's the generic one and it sucks. But hey, it is what it is, as the classics would say. 
So upgrades and everything. Ah, we get our first Sakih E1. Nice. And we're up to three. <laughs> we're up to Pi per year. Okay, AIO is finished, which is great. But not as great as we would like it. And the next one we want is the. Vezarati Amuzesh Va. Barvaresh. The Ministry of Education of Iran, established in 1964, is an Iranian governmental body, department, responsible for the oversight of the K-12 education in Iran. Each year, a certain portion of the yearly budget gets allocated to public educational institutions, which is government-run schools and universities. So we get research speed plus 1% and political power plus 150. Nicely done. Accounts will pay this. Okay, that is fine. We are still missing political power. Okay, the helicopters are going to be done soon, at which point we are going to switch back to you. We might even be so crazy as to study Kaher F313 research. But, no, the attack helicopter 2005. Well, I mean, we're not producing the helicopters at all. Too bad it doesn't really lower the uh, cost of production. Ground attack and reliability, and you give ground attack and reliability. Wait, why are you... You're simply better in everything. Transport and attack. Yeah! There's no point in ta taking the Hessa. Are you locked behind something? No. No, you're not. That's interesting. Hmm. There has to be a reason for this, but I don't see one. Okay, we got three full construction queues, which are going to be done soon. Again, haven't we just lowered their autonomy? What the hell, guys? Associated state. Well, I'm not gonna do it again. If they try to break free... They will try to break free, but... I think we got pretty much everything at this point, don't we? Okay, they don't have enough political power to be free. Okay, well... Hmm, it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. You're infiltrating the civilian administration. That makes me happy. Four days before we can create the attack helicopter, and we got the fourth, the fourth construction line starting. Well, I actually wanted to start working on. The listening devices here because they would give us 15% intelligence from our spies, which is something that we should do. Considering you guys are doing pretty good. Let's build. Oh, no, 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 no. We got this here. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, then let's do it this way. So, we got the attack helicopter 1985. There is no description. And this would be... Yeah, the carrier one, which we really do not need. 
The super cruise would take 216 days to get. So let's get that one. This is gonna help with the speed and production. Oh, it's increasing the production cost of our aircraft. That's not great, but the speed is a decent boost. The speed is a decent boost. Your production efficiency is increasing. We got three factories working on you. So what I think is I'm gonna put another one in here and one more in here. That's gonna be the next two military factories we'll get. And we still need to upgrade the Isfahans to Isfahans 2. Which we haven't. Even though we have promised to do that, but we still haven't. How's the GDP doing? Uh, over 2.57 trillion dollars. GDP per capita is 38,000. Which is, I mean, heavily unrealistic, but still fine. Okay, and now we have the 150. 180 political power we need for the next design company. So the question here is, what do we want? Because the fixed aircraft company pretty much just use it for you. Or I mean, we could start producing the white jets too. Or the drones. And I mean, getting you in advance would be nice. But I think we might benefit, because we obviously don't have enough political power to do all of this. So we might benefit more from getting a naval one. And drop the aircraft one after this and put it on military again. Or research, that would also be pretty good. So let's get the Maritime Industries Organization instead that's going to benefit us more and the extra political power we're gonna get here 150 we could use these to heavily reduce the autonomy of Kurdistan and make sure that they be remain in the fold <coughs> pardon me because they're getting some political power but Okay, we influence Azerbaijan. Oh no, Central Bank because of the housing bubble. So we have a... Um, we can invest 51 and a half billion to keep the fast growth. Are we hurt our relations with the bazaar? Well, let's... Try to keep the economy up, and we screwed up. Well, at least the opinion of Bazaar is increased, but this means we are... Severely... Well, no, we're still not in debt, but we are no longer gonna gain any money. Great, it's just great. Now what can we do? Well, we finished the 2010 Corvette design, which we are going to work with in the next episode. And now the question is, what do we want? Are we going to get the helicopter operator hull and a better helicopter storage? Helipads free, extra surface detection and sub-detection. Oh, those would be great. So let's focus on what we know how to do. So the 1999 helicopter operator hull is coming next. Jesus. Wasted so much money. But, I mean, we're gonna have increase our reach speed at least. Smolensk air disaster. Today, a Tupolev 254 aircraft operating Polish Air Force Flight 101 crashed near the Russian city of Smolensk killing all 96 people on board. Among the victims were a president of Poland, Karol Szweda, and a spouse, the former president of Poland in exile, Ryszard Kaczorowski, the chief of the Polish general staff and other senior Polish military officers, the president of the National Bank of Poland, Polish government officials, 18 members of the Polish parliament, senior members of the Polish clergy, and relatives of victims of the Katyn massacre. The group was arriving from Warsaw to attend an event commemorating the 17th anniversary of the massacre, 
which took place not far from Smolensk. It's a big morning day for Poland. So Konrad Sitko is now the leader of Poland. Never heard about him in my life, I think. And interesting to see that this guy is the de facto governor of Poland now. Okay, so you've completed the infiltration. And can we now send you in here? Commence. And where are you guys? So you're at home doing nothing. So how about you improve our network there? Okay. And we finished the Vizarad Amresh the Parvaresh. Now, well, if we move, if we hold for a bit more, we might actually get the Hessa here. And I think that might be a good step. Well, we actually have a ton of possibilities here. But yeah, that's, it's way past the point where I wanted to do. I wanted to start the uh, start the next step in our uranium enrichment process. But hey, let's uh, wait f a couple of days for this to finish. And we'll call it a day once we get uh, the increased... Um, no, not the increased, but once we get the necessary political power to get the aerial company. Okay, how was the production? Coming? Okay, next factor is coming soon. And I think we need a couple of... A couple of you guys here, because... This is a bit ridiculous. We need more money. We're not getting anywhere near close to what we need. So Kurdistan, are you going to do this or not? Are you saving up or not? They're not. Okay, well that means maybe we don't need to deal with it. But hey, let's end this episode by actually taking the design company called Hessa and thus finish one thing that you guys kept talking to me about and then we are going to start with the circumvent the non-proliferation treaty the non-proliferation treaty is a landmark international treaty whose objective is to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and weapons technology to promote cooperation in the peaceful use of nuclear energy and to further goal of achieving nuclear disarmament and general uh, general and complete disarmament well we're not gonna do that. Hidden in plain sight, outsource the projects to one resource. Work with the local town. I'm kind of confused that this one would also work. You know. Scientific exchange, because I'm not gonna bullshit anyone. We just want the nuclear weapons, so we're gonna get them, whether you like it or not, world. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode where we are going to continue the story of Iran. I have a feeling we might get a bit hot in here, depending on how the world is going to react, because this is gonna... yeah. Israel, United States are not gonna take this light, and the United Kingdom, France, Germany, and three others will get also, you know, alerted. Ah, I hope our army is ready for a potential invasion.